Right, here we are. We're continuing off from last time. So, we'll be going through, seeing what's in here. Looks like the perfect spot for our first industry generator. Excellent. You'll notice we've still got the resources we had from the last... Ah, crap. Someone's hitting it. But there's no spawner. What the hell? None spawning there. <clears throat> and we've got a research terminal. Okay. Right. Yeah, that looks like a bot spawner. Right. Let's try an acid stabber. There and there. We'll open a room and we'll go for a second industry generator and all the robots oh there's some other stuff as well oh crap Okay. Alright, bot spawner in here then. Read tomorrow we'll pass a billion visitor we'll pass a billion visitors, a billion freaking visitors. The investor publicly publicly publicity folks are doing a big thing about it. Banners across the st station, announcements to media, blah blah blah. Of course nobody mentions how many of those visited visitors died somewhere during their visit. Anyway, the body of Intergalactic Logistics Guild entitled uh, Entities sent us an award. It's the first e ever. Of course, the award is hanging on the wall in the Eriodi's office. If that, but that's just how things go around here. So I've got a spawn here, okay, I see. We're gonna need some turrets this way. I lost an industry generator, didn't I there? That is not a good start. I just didn't realise that completely missed that. Oh my god. It's because I didn't just I kinda went into this room and ah yes. This is perfectly fine not noticing that yeah, that's a big old spawner and it screwed me. Right. Well, let's venture out this way. Okay, we've got that door's locked. Oh, hello, this looks... You've entered a dark room. They lack power, so machines don't work and building turrets or generators is impossible. You can decide to spend dust, the rare resources indicated on the right of your screen. They are occasionally found in tanks. To power a dark room, hold the down button. 
Ow. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not great. Two, one. Let's just cook them. Though being robots, they are fairly resistant to being cooked, it would seem. Hmm. It's probably going to be worth putting some acid to it here as well. Right. Handgun shocker. And we'll keep the shocker equipped as well. Because uh, it's got a affinity against robots. Right. Hey guys, we figured out. Uh, we figured we grab one of these and take our chances. Should be enough space for eight or ten if you squeeze. Should be. Wish us luck. Right. Does this room connect to anything? It does not. So I guess this is like a special room of some sort. Right, it looks it. <laughs> Beverage recipe unlocked. And yeah, all of this area, yeah, it's just nothing but spawners. Right. How are we looking? We seem to be holding our own against everything. Okay. Let's get opening some more doors. Absolutely, um, let's see, so we've got, at the moment, yeah, just one industry generator. We're going to need more than that. Right. Looks like the only way forward is through this way. Right, we can post up in this room and guard. So we've got a fair bit of research done. I think we need to power up our heroes now. So I'm going to try and prioritise food for a little while. Okay, so we need to move to this section now. Follow that 
Right. We'll follow through. Up a few mines along the way. Right, and that should connect us up. Boom, there we go. Wave is over. Well, it is once all the remaining enemies are dead. Which shouldn't take too long. We've got a lot of acid turrets along this route. Can we afford any... no. Can't afford any research at the moment. They are mines. Add two mines to our max mine stock. Add 15% damage to this hero if there is another hero in the same room. Uh, adds 25% attack damage to this hero when not in a room with the crystal bot slotted. Both of those are good. In fact, a lot of those are good, actually. Yeah, I could just go for any of those. They're good. Okay, here we go. Different enemy types. We've got bugs this time. Weakness is to fire. There's the breaker. So here we want a flamethrower most likely here. Right, let's roll. <laughs> okay. I have to be careful as well now because this is the new hub for the crystal. Right, and we will put down some mines. And we have a few doors we can open now. Okay. Quite a few, actually. Shall we use this character upgrade terminal, I think? I think we shall. Max mines. When, uh, let's see. Ah, so it re-rolls them each time. Slowing effects to the mines, yep. all these mines down I'm wondering if the audio going is to do with like skill usage or something 
Maybe it is. Right. What have we got here? Bugs. Is that the exit door? It looks like that's the exit door. Okay. <laughs> that floor has been a lot faster than our first, uh, our first one. I think we're getting into the swing of it now. Oh, they found my mines. <laughs> bonk, bonk. Oh crap. Get off, get off. So a few made it through there. Right, what do we have here then? Is this the exit? It is. Not sure what happened today. It was really slow. A few hundred deliveries uh, when we're set up for tens of thousands. We uh, we have now that thing called vacation, and you uh, that you take and just sit around like not do anything. Seriously, who came up with the idea? Must be some weird old tradition. The cool thing is that I finally had time to meet the. So, uh, the sower that manages the term terminal next door. Kind of embarrassing that it took seven years though. <laughs> Not great working conditions then it would seem. And they're weirded out when they get them. <laughs> right. We have a crystal shard to mine and then we need to get out. Right. Um, do I want to do any? Where's the research terminal? That away. Okay, so we want to put some mines probably here, here, here. Um, here. 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 I'm not really sure how many we can have max, but it's a lot. I think the top left where it says four, I think that is like until we hit max. But then again, it's recharging, so maybe that's just how many we are just holding in that uh, holding back on um, we'll upgrade the flamethrower now because we're coming across enemies that need flamethrowers to deal with it um, and that's probably the only one we're gonna get looks like there's not enough science for another and it probably won't be long before we have to go oh there's a lot of them Right, let's make sure that this is fine. Oh, they're blown up the turrets.
Right. Let's... Oh, can we even risk the crystal shard? Sod it, go! Okay, let's get the uh, mines set up in a perimeter. Ah, get off the crystal, you get. Get off. Kill anything and everything that moves through here. Right, the crystal bot is following me. We're going to take it to the exit. Okay, now we need to push through here. Right, Crystal, come on. Go. Go, Crystal, go. Get some mines. Get some mines down. There we go. And there we are. Looks like we've made it to some kind of end point of some description of this district, I guess. Okay. Interesting. Floor completed. General systems failure. Repel borders activated. Anti-gravity reactor below minimum safety dust threshold. Hoist operation restricted, maximum access to floor 2. Presence of giant defense units confirmed. No rudeness. Anti-gravitational system. It seems this regular, uh, this regular maintenance cycle has been interrupted. and must be restarted at the crystal bot at the reactor. Oh, restarted by the crystal bot at the reactor. This has affected the hoist as well, which only descends one floor. No system redundancy. Such poor design. And that is most likely the reason that Chupi and Remy didn't make it out. Well, that there is a big first step. We ain't out of the woods yet, but at least bears didn't get us. Let's see what floor two is about. District destination for hoist departure. Labour colony. Oh, is it not the end yet? <laughs> Bring it to the exit door to escape. Okay, gotcha. So, ah, so that was the first floor. Right, so that was Astral Bay. We're now going to Labour colony. Right. Okay, so on this inner section, and then there's the third section, and then you get to the end. I think I understand. Okay, right. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll be calling it here. Can we save and... Yes, we can save and return to main menu. Thank you very much for watching. We'll continue on next time on Endless Dungeon. I'll see you then.